here we have an example of an end wall and this option here is using polycarbonate with metal framing which is virtually maintenance free, relatively easy to construct, uh, chemical free, doesn't, it's not using pressure treated wood, uh, which is an important consideration for organic growers, and uh, doesn't harbor pests and diseases. Also is an incredible insulator. It, it, it's good for dealing with wind and also conferring a little extra um, heat retention within the tunnel. Structural integrity as well is another advantage. Uh, and my favorite is I think it looks the nicest. It's aesthetically pleasing. As another end wall option, you can use wood. Uh, however, it is something that will have to be replaced after a few years. It will not last forever. It is less expensive uh, to build it initially, um, more readily available but it, it definitely has some disadvantages to consider, um, especially if you have to replace it, it can uh, harbor pests and diseases. Uh, if it's pressure treated, it's not gonna work for organic production. So it, it is an option, uh, however, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. So here we're at Merritt Farm, and this is an example of a stationary tunnel with the end wall uh, made out of poly, a single layer of poly. Uh, so you can see it's pretty easy to install. It's using wire lock um, with a wire lock channel, uh, easy to, to put up quickly. Um, however, disadvantages are that it is not going to be as warm, not going to be as wind resistant. Um, so definitely an inexpensive option, but not necessarily a good option for long term. Here we are at a greenhouse nursery in southern New Hampshire. And as another example of end walls, we have wood. So this is really more of an aesthetic appeal, uh, completely solid wood. It almost has this uh, log cabin look. So it, it is an inexpensive option. Uh, one disadvantage is it does cut down on light transmission to the plants on the other side. Uh, but it, it can be a, a really easy option to, to select for your greenhouse. So with any greenhouse, it's important to figure out how you're gonna get in and out of it. Uh, so we're talking about doors here and the different options that we have. Here is a very lightweight aluminum pastor. So it's really just a way to get in and out, not necessarily going to be used for getting equipment in. Um, if we move down to the middle here, this is a sliding uh, door here, which allows you to open it up pretty wide and thus be able to drive a tractor in or get any other larger equipment inside. So this is a great way to also allow some ventilation inside the tunnel. Here on the north side of the greenhouse, we have two different examples of doors. This is another pass door, uh, different in that it is insulated, a little higher end, um, but you know, very easy to get in and out of, so not much new there. And over here is uh, our roll-up door. Now this is a great option because it's relatively inexpensive, it's insulated, um, it's easy to get larger equipment inside. So to open it, we would just lean down here and... So in here, you just saw how it opened easily and you can also see the insulation on the inside. So it keeps it nice and warm. And if we open it all the way, again, you can see it's a nice big open space for getting machinery in here and getting to work.